Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision, where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. I'm so excited to be answering your questions. This will be a full Q&A where I go through all of my comments on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, our Facebook group, and answer as many questions as I can. Just the most important ones that I get asked multiple times because a lot of times I don't have the chance to reply to your comments because I am working nonstop. So I thought what better way than to get those answers out to you guys and to create a video. That's what we're gonna do today. I got my little glass here as well as my straw and I got me a hard seltzer here nothing too and you know extreme because we want to save on calories it's like 200 calories for this and you guys know your girls in the fitness so we're just trying to stay healthy on that so I'm just gonna open this up now because it's been a long day uh, it was a holiday Columbus Day but still we worked and I had a lot of things to do surprisingly crazy client who had a lot of money but anywho so the hint of pineapple mango, y'all. Let's just pour it up. More, 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 more. <laughs> yes. So I get the same question so often that I think it's so important to make a video, and I'll insert the screenshots of each person who asked the question, just so you can know, girl. I got you, girl. I answered your question, girl. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through like, I don't know, 20 of the most common ones that I see here. <sighs> I need that. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all are having a good day or night or whenever you're watching this. I'm feeling good, you know. Had a very busy day, but I love getting time to chat with y'all during the week. Never do anything like this, it's usually during the vlog, and I thought, let's just make it dedicated focused commentary like I'm chatting with y'all directly instead of just going through some crazy stuff during my vlog. <laughs> Somebody just said love 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 your music. Quick question, the white tins. Did you say they were from Ollie Craft on Amazon? I'm having trouble finding them. Yes girl, they're from Ollie Craft. Super highly saturated market and what better way to get your name out there than to have a unique tag. And with their site, they offer heat resistant candle tins. This is unheard of, it's very important. Now you don't even have to worry about it. And you don't even have to worry about staining your you know, precious furniture. So yeah, I would definitely say uh, Wicked Hemp Candle Co. Girl, go ahead and get you some candles from Oli Crafts. I'll put the link down below. That way you can check them out. And yes, those tins are uh, 27 on Amazon and they're 25 on their website. So they're really great price. And Amazon is prime, you get it in two days. But Oli Craft ships crazy fast, it's insane. Like I, ordered on Thursday, no, Wednesday, he got it to me on Friday. It's ridiculous, USPS, and he's far, far away. So it's like, he's just very aware. The, the owner's professional, and he understands the expedited service for people who are in business. So yeah, definitely check out Oldie Craft. I'll put the link down below. Oh, somebody said the vlogs are better than TV. Keep them coming. Thanks, sis. The Boss Babies. <laughs> I've been thinking of a name for us, guys. I had no idea what to name us, and she said the Boss Babies. I like that, but I mean, I want it to be something strong because y'all strong like me. Y'all some no limit soldiers like me. Another common question is where did you get your Presto pot from? I just posted a vlog, it was like yesterday. Okay, everybody wants to know where it's from and it's from Amazon, all right? It's no secret, I get everything from Amazon. I love Amazon. They always have my back, especially in terms of things you are not gonna find in stores. In stores, you're gonna find like a little air fryer or some kind of deep fryer that you could change the nozzle to make it a presto pot. But I needed something more intense. Shout out to my girl Ashley, that was so sweet. When I started selling crystal candles wholesale, she saw some of my videos where I was doing the double burner method and making like large batches of candles. Okay, it was like 12 candles, but that takes a long time. And just with that, she sent me her Presto pot. That was so sweet. I'll keep that thing forever. I love it. Super helpful. I'll put it in the description for you guys. That way you guys know exactly where to go. It's a really good cost. It was like 60 bucks. It's not too bad. Um, and it's worth it, guys. I just want to say shout out to Mary V for saying these vlogs are better than TV. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I'll be going. I love how everybody's 
noticing the music in the vlog. Like, y'all don't understand, it's really hard to find music for vlogs. So with her question, she also asked, instead of just asking about the press box, she also asked where I got the stand from. To be honest with you, back when I was living in an apartment, you know, about two weeks ago, um, <laughs> in that apartment, I work from home, so sometimes I would like to lay in bed and be on my computer. And sometimes if you're laying straight back, you want to go to sleep. And I wanted to prevent that, so I got this little laptop stand where you put your laptop on top of it and then you can sit up, but you're still in bed. And um, you're able to type and you can put like a drink beside it or something else beside it. So that's what it was essentially for, but I realized that I can't really be productive in bed. There's never a time where I'm laying in bed and I'm actually killing it at the game. So I, I stopped working from bed. I work from my office now and I'm using that desk, that laptop thing for my stand now. But I will link down below a actual Presto Pot stand because I understand that there are these black wired stands that are really 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 space effective that you guys can use on your table just to have your presto pot elevated so i'll definitely link that below as well as the, the desktop uh <laughs> the laptop stand that i use another question that i always get is where do you get your fragrances great question sis yeah so i have a video on my fall fragrances if you haven't seen that already i'll say click this link right here to take you straight to it i get my fragrances from a number of places certain fragrances actually smell better from different fragrance companies because they have different notes in them a great example is lemongrass i make healing candles and one of them the clarity candle has a very strong lemongrass scent in it and coupled with the apple you know apple butter so just with that uh lemongrass i got it from the flaming candle one time it smelled gross it smelled disgusting it smelled like lemon heads you know <laughs> not good but i got it from va candle supply and it smelled phenomenal it smelled like a real burst of lemon and that is my focus you know i want pure and great smelling scents so just focusing on scent instead of focusing on you know like oh i love this vendor it definitely pays off so i'll just name a few places so uh the number one place that i shop for fragrance oil would be the flaming candle i love the flaming candle that's definitely number one for me i got sparkling sangria from them during the summer and it was a hit it sold out like crazy i ran i remember running out of sparkling sangria and freaking out because their shipping from flaming candle was taking a long time so yeah flaming candles number one for me and then i would say aztec candle oh my god aztec candle has the best sense you have no idea just the consistency in there i don't know what they do in terms of sourcing but they are doing it right and then aztec also gives you the opportunity to try type fragrances and by type i mean like abercrombie and fitch type victoria's secret type you know it'll say type at the end because it's a similar scent to what you would get from one of these commercial retailers so it's really really a great site aztec has slow 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 their site is so slow guys you have no idea i'll type in like lemon at the top and it'll take like 30 minutes for it to actually search but a good thing about them is that they always have this special going on where you get five fragrances for five dollars which i super love because those little one ounce fragrance oils are typically like three dollars or two to five dollars but they're going to give you uh five of them for one dollar each it's phenomenal you always have to check out aspect if you're in the testing phase and you want to get some samples just do some smaller batches of candles check out aztec another one that i fell in love with is virginia candle supply va candle supply for some reason they're not in virginia they're like in tennessee or something like that but their candle fragrance oils are so strong and so amazing. I got apple butter from there and apple cider donut from there. Hits. Everybody loves both of those fragrances. I always, when I first started making candles, I could not get a hot throw. I'll never forget. I couldn't get a hot throw, but I got a hot throw with apple butter. And I was so happy when I got that. So definitely try out apple butter from VA Candle Supply. I think you'll love it, girl. And just check out their website in general if you do like floral scents or you like sweet scents they have it all I, sorry y'all i'm just reading comments it's the best feeling to read y'all's comments like the things y'all say are just it's so great to get your insight on life um thank you tanya roper for following me on instagram 
and TikTok. Thank you, girl. Another very popular question is what type of wax I use. Yes, I get this question all the time. Everybody's curious, what are you doing over there, girl? I wanna share that I use coconut apricot cream. It is the best wax in terms of smooth tops, hot throw, and just longevity. I really enjoy the burn time on these, how they adhere to my vessels that I use in terms of the candle tins, as well as the clear vessels that I use for my healing candles. Coconut apricot cream is phthalate free, toxin free. It is very good for the environment. It's a good selling point as well with regard to the fact that there is just a slight bit of paraffin in there and that little bit of paraffin goes a long way because paraffin increases your hot throw so i am in love i love coconut apricot cream my first video that actually got a lot of traction was my wooden wick wax discovery kit um, in that video i tried out three different waxes from wooden wick co the coconut apricot cream virgin coconut soy and the beeswax cocoa cream and with that you guys saw me test out all of their burn times as well as how they pour as well as when you're supposed to pour and I tested out the hot throws so what I found was virgin coconut soy was amazing but it was nothing in comparison to coconut apricot cream that hot throw was intense and it's so crazy I was just mentioning apple butter and I used apple butter in tests it was amazing beeswax cocoa cream is good too y'all but beeswax is like $50 a pound we can't play games like that unless you want to create a luxury candle line where you're selling your candles for like $75 a pop I didn't want to do that I wanted it to be more cost effective and sell my candles for about $18 to $30 so with that I knew coconut apricot cream was perfect for my price point it's like two to three dollars more than soy and it gives you a better hot throw you don't have to deal with all those inconsistencies with soy because what I found out when I first started making candles is I took a step back and I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos everybody was saying soy wax is harder to use you might not get the best hot throw so that's why I was like I'm gonna go with IGI 6006 and that was a horrible idea it didn't give me the hot throw that everybody was raving about and I mean to each his own but like, you have to make it your own but yeah by the way can we talk about these earrings right now these earrings I got these from Ana Luisa a while ago and I am dying. They are so pretty, guys. These are their Catherine earrings, with these three hoop earrings. Dying, they're like so pretty in the light. This is their Yusuf chain. <sighs> Love it. When I saw it on the website, I died. I was like, this is the perfect chain for me. It's 14 karat gold, so I don't have to worry about any kind of green crazy surprise or anything like that. I love this chain. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. And it goes with everywhere, everything. I'm just wearing my t-shirt, you know, here from Sense of Vision Candle Co. If you haven't shopped already, just wait on it, I have to restock. But yeah, <laughs> Sense of Vision Candle Co. shirt and it works perfect with it. As well as my earrings, I am dying. I love a good small hoop. Nothing too intense, you know? And it just with this light, it's so distracting. I had to show show you guys this. I, I'm dying. <laughs> that is sustainable. And with it being 14 karat gold, these are essentially life proof. This is so phenomenal for us girls who just want some cost effective real jewelry, guys. These are great price. You have to check them out. I have a code and it's cost effective, guys. These pieces start at $39. You really can't beat that. A lot of times 14 karat gold is gonna run you a few you know, $100, like $300, $400, and these are like $39. You really can't beat that. And if you use my code BOSSVISION10, you actually get 10% off. So you're doing really good there. So I would definitely say check them out. I'm in love with this jewelry. Like, it's shining in the camera as we are talking right now, and I'm just wearing, I have natural light in here. Well, my, <laughs> my light in my living room. But like, look how beautiful this chain is, as well as these earrings. Like, I'm dying, and then, these ones, I was gonna wear these for the video, but I was like, I don't know. But yeah, I also got these beautiful earrings here. Ah, they have this, they have a star and a moon. That Anna Louise. Yeah, I'm really passionate about you know crystals and healing and the new moons and things like that. I love earrings like that, so I love how it's a good statement piece here. And those were like 60 bucks. They're really cost effective. The thing about it is the details, like in the back of this one. It's a diamond back there. Do you see that? Look how gorgeous that is. That's something perfect if you wanted to wear it to the side. I'm in love, okay? I can't help it. I mean, I'm dying. <laughs> but yeah, back to the questions. I got distracted because they were they were blinding me in the light. You see, bling bling. Every time I come around the city, bling bling. 
answer. I'm gonna ask you like five more questions here. Just cause you guys are always asking like some really good ones that I can't really catch, but I see it all the time. I see it, I see it, I see it. And I wanna tell y'all what it is, but I be at work. <laughs> so Shakia Lee says, I love your candles and I just started following you. You are such a good vibe and motivation for me. I'm new with candle making, but excited about getting my business started. I just finished my website. How would I get started selling my products and launching my website? I think that I wanted to respond to this, but I was like, you know what? Shaquilla, typing isn't enough. I need to talk to you directly, Shaquilla. Hey girl, hey. Okay, so when you start your business and you took that time to break down your website, and make it your own. You know, you made it customized, you showed about your company as well as all of your beautiful products, right? You need to be mindful of the fact that it's so hard to be ranked in Google without being mindful of search engine optimization. I've made so many videos on search engine optimization. So much information regarding the importance of taking a step back, niching down, and you have to have a market, you have to have a lane. For me, it's crystals, okay? People like crystals, so what I would do is incorporate tags that are captivating in terms of healing candle, or amethyst candle, or rose quartz candle. Those words are what people are typing in to Google. You want your site to have tags that are in line with your niche. So if your candles are more of decadent and they have dessert-like candles, you need to incorporate something like sweet candle or vanilla candle or cookie candle or whatever, banana nut bread candle, something that would captivate your audience and make them more likely to click on your website, okay? So incorporate tags in your every product. Every product you need to incorporate tags. I mean, you'll see this in those videos if you go back to the marketing videos and SEO videos. More Alexis asks, where do you get your crystals? I get this question a whole lot. I'm so glad this question came up on more. So I get my, I get my crystals from Mineralogy. They are located in Raleigh, North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, and Cary, North Carolina. <laughs> they have three stores in the area, and I actually sell my candles at all three stores. So the way this happened was I walked into the store in Durham, North Carolina, and I said, do you all have, um, I, I, all I asked was, do you make your own jewelry? I was making small talk with the manager, and she was like, yeah, I actually make the jewelry. And I was like, that's so cool, I make candles all I said and she said do you do wholesale candles and I was like yes never did a wholesale in my life had no idea what I, I was just making vanilla sweet candles never made a crystal candle in my life and she decided to actually give me a chance I think I didn't really tell her I never made a crystal candle in my life I winged it and you can watch the video I presented her these candles at a whim I got amethyst from Michaels <laughs> cheap amethyst from Michaels to show her and she loved it and then I started purchasing crystals from her but then they pay me a wholesale price for the candles so it's a win-win there for us in terms of the fact that I get an upfront purchase from them and they get a great tax write-off okay perfect so natasha says i'm new to your channel thank you for sharing i'm learning so much from watching what are you heating your candles with to add the stones and flowers to the top of super important girl i love that um i was able to find this but i would highly suggest that you invest in a heat gun it was only 12 bucks on amazon amazon girl i'll link it down below and the heat gun is what you use is similar to a blow dryer except it's exclusively designed for heating items regarding maybe hardware or candles so just with that uh you melt the wax with the heat gun and then you add in the crystals and let that solidify. Oh, she said such a good idea using hot glue gun and wicks, yes. So it's super important for me to use hot glue guns and wicks because I just find that process is kind of, you know, confirming for me. A lot of times people just use stickers and put it in the vessel, but I'm just thinking like, if I were to put a sticker in a vessel, what if it comes out, I don't know. I'm just thinking of things like that. But yeah, guys, we are finishing up this drink. We're going to go finishing up this video. One more question. Ah, this is a question I get a lot too. Do you need to cover the container while you cure it? 
My answer is yes. Uh, I think you should cover your containers when you cure them. I think it's super important. It's similar to having a you know bottle of rubbing alcohol you put the lid on it so the rubbing alcohol still has the same strength to it you know it's very important and then it's just like if you had a soda and you let the left the lid open and it goes flat you can't yankee candle agrees with me they say that if you cover your scent when you're not using it it allows less scent to evaporate from it so yeah girl you heard it first lid your candles up yes it's a beautiful aesthetic when you have a lidless candle with that beautiful you know white i guess like covering or whatever you guys put in there in the inserts you guys put in there with like holes in it so the wicks come out of it super cute but i like to lid my candles up because i think it increases the hot throw so i'd highly suggest you lid your candles when you're curing especially when you're sending them over when I was moving, I noticed that uh, it's been like three weeks since I smelled some of my little minis. Oh my God, the Vanilla Noir is bursting with scent. It was, burst, it was crazy, guys. But yeah, so excited to restock the site, guys. Okay, guys, that was the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this Q&A. Comment down below if you have any more questions you want me to answer. I can definitely do a part two. Would love to do that. Um, I somehow got drunk off this so hilarious <laughs> but yeah like i said before check out anna luisa these earrings are shining in the light i am in love with these hoops as well as this beautiful chain and as i said before if you use the code boss vision 10 you will get 10 percent off your whole order it's insane they already have these amazing sales going on right now for the holidays so definitely check them out because you're going to get a good deal and i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day your week your moment your next hour just living your purpose and love life okay bye